August 2004, I was working in the bank. We had an email saying that they were bringing in the corporate attire policy. For women, you had to wear blouse, slacks, dress or skirt. For men, it was slacks, button-down shirt, tie, suit jacket. And it panicked me. I was born female. Now I identify as male. At that point, I didn't identify as transgender. But I had to stop and think, why am I having these feelings? Why am I having these thoughts? Um, and realized, shoot, I'm having this panic moment because I don't want to choose a female uniform because that's not who I am. I'm not female. That seems like such a little thing, but it can be a big deal to someone. I didn't grow up saying, I'm a boy. But deep inside, that identity was in me. When I decided to transition, one of the things I had to think about was, how am I going to do this? When you're different, when there's something about you, it's gossip fodder. I didn't want that. I didn't know what support I would get from the bank. Yes, I knew we had a discrimination policy, but did it cover gender identity? Was I going to lose my job? How's it going to affect my permanent residency? I uh, had a meeting with the head of HR that we had at the time. And literally over the course of a day came out to over 100 people. ANZ isn't just paying lip service to a community. It's genuinely trying to get it right. The bank now has a wardrobe policy that means that people can wear the wardrobe that best fits their gender identity. What this means is that for transgender or gender fluid people, they can bring them their whole selves to work. They don't have to hide who they are. When you normalize gender diversity, you embrace the experiences of everyone. You say to them, you know what, that's fine. Your experience is fine. Your experience is as valid as my experience. 